Kia ora folks, I'm just doing uh, the experiment gas in a bag. So you just need um, uh, baking soda, tartaric acid and a teaspoon and I've got a little little uh, um, film canister uh, and you just fill that with water. So I might do that now. So I just fill that with that. So I'm not sure what would that be. 50 mils of water? Maybe. i just leave that there like that something like that, a good sort of heap teaspoon like that of the baking soda and then uh, tartaric acid and it's I suppose this type of investigation it's good to use acids and bases that are powder you know not not always using a solution so good for kids to see that you know uh, an, an acid can be a powder and they can buy it from the supermarket so there goes the the tartaric acid in there and then you have to be quite careful with this is placing the the film canister down there so just hang on to that while you're um, zip blocking the bag up because what we're wanting to do is the when the reaction happens we want that seal to be nice and tight so just make sure that that's tight and then of course when you're ready let that canister and the bag should start blowing up and yeah, yeah no, that's looking good and it's actually endothermic so it's actually quite cold and that bag's getting nice and nice and tight now I'm going to just light a match here because I'm going to prove to you that this bag, this bag, this gas that's being made is actually carbon, oh, carbon dioxide. So while that's building up, I will light this. Just carefully put that down in there. So this is the next step to this uh, bag of gas is to, I'm going to pour the gas gently into this, into this little uh, plastic cup and I'm going to just see if I can here we go now so what it, what's the formula for tartaric acid it's actually got four carbons and two carboxylic groups on the end of each end uh, and the two hydroxy compounds in the middle there so um, it is it's these hydrogens here that make it acidic. They are, uh, they are they can be removed with the base, and it's only weak. It's only a weak organic acid. Uh, but that's what's happening here. The two hydrogens can be removed with the base. So baking soda, of course, is the um, uh, sodium bicarbonate. By the by the is the extra hydrogen here. Otherwise, it will just be sodium carbonate. So it's sodium bicarbonate is the the baking soda formula. And so what's produced, of course, is when these two compounds um, get together in the water medium. So we're actually adding water here, H two O. So water is being added to make these ions mobile. So that the medium. Has the has gives the opportunity for these two salts to combine and react. So of course we've got the this is what we call a spectator ion because it's not actually involved in the reaction, and this joins with the tartrate ion. So I'll just keep that simple. C four H six H four with a two minus, and we we need uh, two of these. And they're both aqueous. They're both aqueous ions. So they are swimming around, basically inert in this reaction. And what, what of course, is produced is um, carbonic acid. So the, the, uh, the hydrogen ions form with the, uh, uh, the carbonate ion here uh, and, and, and form this, what we call, carbonic acid. Again, another weak acid. And... Um, uh, it's this. It's this particular 
uh, a product in this reaction, which is a kind of a transitionary stage, and that goes in, and that basically is a decomposition reaction. And this, of course, makes the carbon dioxide and the water. And um, uh, this is what we're seeing, the bubbling of gas CO2 plus H2O. Now, reaction, uh, if this was energy, and this was the reaction, uh, perhaps time, is that the, is that, if this was the reactant's energy here, and that goes to the products, um, this movement between the lower state and the higher state of the products means that the enthalpy change is a positive enthalpy change. So if we were to subtract the product energy away from the reactant energy, we would see a, a positive uh, 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 change there. And of course, what does that mean? It means that heat has to be absorbed. And that's what we see in this reaction. So we call this an endothermic reaction. And of course, endothermic reactions, usually we see uh, the temperature drop. So temperature is going to decrease and drop down. So of course it gets colder. That's the surroundings.